All right, now we're ready to start. Push her in. Right off. See how she's trying to rev up? All right, alternator and clutch. Do seat belts because we are going to be spinning rotors. All right, we got our seat belts on. What's next on the list? Fuel shut up valve. Fuel shut up valve. So you look down here, if it says on, it's on. If you turn it, it says off. Cyclic collective friction. All right, so basically, what we're doing we're going to test our range of motion. So we take off our friction here, and then it says friction increases to the back, so forward is off. Alright. So what we're going to do is, you're going to do all controls. Um, so you're going to pick up on the collective with the cyclic as well. There you go. And you're going to test full range of motion, make sure nothing's interfering with it. Yeah, do some big circles while you're putting the collective up and down at the same time. You're also feeling for anything to interfere with each other uh, on the controls itself. You can go ahead and do full range of motion on the pedals as well. All right, and then you mix your picture collective all the way back down. Put your friction on. Friction's on. You get your. It's very important to try to get the cyclic as centered as possible, and you add your friction back here. And the reason why is because when the blades start up, it's going to be kind of wobbly and it's going to be upset. So you have a little bit of room to move it around as you need to. All right, so the friction's back on. Cyclic collective pedals. Full travel free. They're out of full travel free. Yep, to your throttle too. Make sure all the way in detent. Collect the full down friction all. Mm -hmm. Pedals in neutral. So we want to put one foot in the middle of the pedals. Uh, that's how we do it in neutral. There's no, there's no friction or anything for the pedals. You keep one foot in the middle of the pedals. It stops you if you shift your weight from kicking one of the pedals. Rotor brake disengage. All right. Rotor brake is here. It's like a chain on a ceiling fan. Circuit breakers in. All right, so circuit breakers are underneath my legs here in the left seat. So make sure they're all pushed down. Take note of them there. Landing lights off. Landing light is right here. Make sure it's off. Avionics switch off. Avionics switch. I don't know if we have one in this helicopter. I don't think it does. So yeah, we're not at negative 100 feet right here, so we want to move it up to right there at about 24 feet, so two and a half marks. I'll get you out some of the reading. Clutch, make sure the clutch switch is off right here. Make sure the guard's back switch is off. Hydro and governor switch is off. Hydraulic switch is right here, right in front of you. Got my switch here, so if you see it shows the switch off to the right is means on, switch off to the left means off, so off, on, make sure it's to the right. Alright. As you turn it, it actually changes, so just make sure it's on idle when you look at that. Starting engine run up, throttle close. Alright, so you make sure your throttle is all the way to close, so you go roll it to idle. So go ahead and roll it to idle. See where it stops, and then roll it past idle to detent. We would like to see it in detent, uh, especially on a warm start. It's very important. Does it stay? No, it doesn't stay. It's spring loaded. So you want to, so you're going to kind of give yourself some room with your wrist and roll it this way. And you're going to use your pointer finger here, reach for that button. Mm -hmm. and that's where the button is started. Is we're not going to start it just yet. Right. So you need the. The next thing is the battery on. Mags all the way to. You both, you put your mixture in. We're gonna prime it because it's cold right now. So you want to prime it for about four seconds. So you turn the primer to prime and hold it for about four seconds. I'll count for you. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004. There you go. Leave it on both. Pull the mixture out. Okay, now you're ready to start. So go ahead and pull it in full detent. And you're gonna hold down that starter until you hear it fire. Keep your other hand on the mixture. And when you hear it fire, push in the mixture and then, you, then you'll come off the starter. All right, pull back, pull 
mix your back out. There you go. Wait for it to settle. Push it in. You gotta keep it down while you push it in.
indicator is showing right on the uh, the green symbol here, so we're good to, to go initiate the shutdown process. So we're idle, we got our time. Uh, so what you're gonna do is go ahead and pull off the clutch guard and then pull back the clutch switch. So that's gonna take about 30 seconds or so. So we're gonna start turning off avionics. Turn off the air conditioner. Take your mixture guard off. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait about 30 seconds, but really we can wait for the engine to the engine to be unloaded by the rotor system. So as the clutch loosens, you'll see the spike in the in the engine RPMs, and that's letting you know that the clutch is fully disengaged. So just get ready to pull the mixture. There you go, pull the mixture out. Alright, and turn the mags off. Mags to off. All the way to off. There you go. And an alternator off. Alrighty. And we leave the master battery and the strobe on until the blades stop. We wait about 30 seconds before we start applying the rotor brake. Um, we leave our strobe light on all the time. It comes off when we turn the battery off. The reason why we do that is if we walk away from the helicopter, leave the battery on, we can look back and see the strobe light. Uh, it'll let us know if the battery's still on. that stick perfectly centered you start noticing that uh that rumbling or that shaking when i hover this thing i noticed that a really good tracking balance like like on the on the money i don't know if y'all did a tracking balance on it but it's no we didn't it's uh it's pretty pretty well, set no. Pretty neat blades, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Alright, you can start pulling that rudder brake. So you don't want to, yeah, just rest your hand on it. Don't pull more than five pounds of pressure. If you start getting like a heavy chatter or anything, just uh, let off of it for a few seconds, then come back on it. And you want to try to get it, stop it where it's aligned with our tail. Pull it now, hard, 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 hard. There you go. Get it stopped. Perfect. And then battery off. And we're done. So the reason why we do a warm start, we want to make sure we're all the way in a detent. This disengages the correlator. That's okay. Disengages the correlator, and it also disengages the governor from taking over. So you can switch the governor switch off, but Robinson actually advises against it. And the proper way to do it is just make sure you're all the way in the detent. So that'll stop the governor from catching the RPM. So if it does happen to spike all the way past 75 or 80 on the start, it will stop the governor from rover revving it on the start, uh, which can over torque it, and it can loosen that nut in the back, which actually happened to another helicopter recently. So what we want to do is go ahead and we did all the other checks everything's good altimeter is good go ahead put the master battery on all right and then move it all the way move the mags all the way to both okay so what you're going to do is go into make sure you go get comfortably into full detent all right and then you use your pointer finger there to to start and keep your keep your hand right here on the on the mixture ready to add it and make sure you hold it in detent don't let it out of detent Unless the engine starts to fail, then maybe give it a little crack at the throttle. Um, but other than that, hold it in detent until you got your mags. I'm, I'm sorry, then you got your alternator and clutch on, and then once your clutch it fully engages when the needles come up together. Otherwise, she could still over rev on the idle, depending on how high she idles. All right, go ahead and start starter. Not starting. No lie. Or it breaks off. All right, now we're ready to start. Push her in. Let off. See how she's trying to rev up. All right, alternator and clutch. If you come off the detent, it might idle high. I don't think this one idles very high though, so it's a good practice helicopter. Coming up together so you can let 
much like goes out of these idle back at 70% waiting for it to fully warm up but it's already warm anyway because it's already there so it would be continuous from there you'd be ready to go. Also after you do this start you always want to make sure you got oil pressure right away um, and you got your amps on, on your alternator after you add your alternator. Um, and then you have your starter on light that goes out make sure the starter on light doesn't stay on after you let off the starter.